Hey guys, and welcome to this brand new episode of Stindy Games, and we're playing today The Bridge. Now, this is a kind of puzzle game that challenges, again, if you've played Antichamber or seen Antichamber, it's similar to that in that it challenges your conceptions of what reality is and how gravity and the world works. So, uh, what's going on here? It's black and white, and already I'm getting very much like a, a, a braid vibe. That kind of painterly style to the world. And, oh god, the arrow keys. They move the world left and right. Oh, wow. So I'm shaking apples off the tree now. Bonk. Only everything. A and D to move left and right. Wow, so I think I've just uh, given Isaac Newton the inspiration for gravity by bonking him on the head with an apple. Okay, where am I going? I'm so tired. Uh, this guy's pretty old, actually. I uh, haven't haven't I been here before? Um, yeah. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's keep going then. Let's keep going. So I can turn the world right. So can I turn the world to make make anything happen with these things? No, not yet. And uh, and I'm back here again. Okay, <laughs> this is um, this is quite frustrating. Okay. Oh, my fortitude to tread onward. Excellent. So I finally. Oh, oh. So that's too steep. So I can turn the world a bit, and it becomes climbable. Okay. Already, I can see where this game's going. My integrity of wits. So I basically just manipulate the world to make things easier for myself. Oh, a house. I guess this is my place. And my home. Awesome. No front door, just a hole in the wall, because, you know, doors are overrated, right? Can I, can I do anything with the bookcase? No. no. Okay, W to go through this door. Okay, chapter one. Okay, let's dive into the guts of this new indie game. It's available on Steam, and it's been released just recently, so I thought it'd be quite a good idea to check it out. See what it's about. Here we are. Nice. So, a bunch of doors, the loft, and these are all locked. Ah. Move the world a bit, but there's no point because there's only one door we can go in, and we haven't got a key for the other doors, so okay. 1-1, one, one, the loft. Let's do it. This guy needs a name. I, mean, I wonder who we're controlling. I'm going to call him... Ralph. Okay. Okay, Ralph, let's do it. I really do like the painterly style of this. Everything feels really kind of hand-drawn with a pencil. So we're in the loft at the moment. And again, I can't go up there, but... Oh, I can, I can move the world much more now. Oh wow, oh this is awesome, ah oh, this is really cool actually, so I can turn the world completely and find myself- Ooh, 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 ooh! <laughs> oh no! Whoa! Okay, this is weird, this is really weird, but really cool. This is really cool, and... And here I am at the door, I don't, <laughs> I don't actually know what I did or how I did it, but I'll take, I'll take the door as a, as a sign of success. Okay, one, two. The library. This is really cool, actually. I really, like, I really like the idea of changing the world without changing yourself. I mean, Antichamber was really cool, but because it was first person, you, did, you couldn't really get a grasp on what was happening with the world. But with this, you can actually see what's happening as it unfolds. Okay, this is an easy one. Ah, that book has slide written on it, so I think... Oh, careful, Ralph. Oh, the key! No, the key! Okay, well, if I slide this, I think the book will slide. If I, uh, if I, yeah, there we go. Okay, now jump over, Ralph. And, uh, oh, gotta be careful of that key. Okay, I've got the key. And that's unlocked things for us. So now I'll, uh, just flip things around the way they're supposed to be. And fingers crossed, the book should slide down. And I can get out. Oh, yeah, good job, Ralph. Team Ralph. Part three, The Menace. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Are there bad guys in this game? Look at that ball down there in the bottom left. That's a really scary looking bouncy ball. Maybe there are bad guys. 
I didn't think about that. Bad guys in a puzzle game. Uh-oh. There he is. Weird ball with a face on it. Okay, Ralph. Okay, it's zoomed out a bit. And I've got to get in that door there. But if I move the world, that's going to set that ball free as well, isn't it? Little crumbs. Oh! Oh, God, yeah. Um, how am I going to do this, then? If I just keep rolling... Well, oh, shit, there's, the ball's gone down that way now. But, Ralph, you can... Oh, oh, careful, Ralph. If you just go that go that way, Ralph. Actually, Ralph needs to be, I think, uh, in this cubby hole up here. Yeah, oh, yeah, if I keep turning around this way, the ball will go down the bottom bit. And, Ralph, you can jump over. Oh, yeah, good job, Ralph. Fantastic, okay. I wonder if that ball kills you, though. I want to touch it. No, no, oh, no, 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 Ralph, no, 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 don't go near the ball. Oh, and my last memory was of that pain. Pressing hold space. What did, oh, 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 so just like in Braid, if you hold down space, time goes backwards, and instead of just respawning at the beginning of the level, you can actually choose where you respawn to, uh, to change what you did wrong. That's awesome. I really like that feature in Braid. So I'm happy it's in this one. Ooh, oh crumbs! Those are terrifying balls. Look at Ralph there. He's he's Jones and he's he's scared shitless. Okay. Crumbs! It's blinking. It's blinking at me. Oh Christ! Okay. Okay, Ralph. Let's do it. The courtyard. Oh wow! This is awesome. This is really awesome. I really love this game already. Oh! Oh no! Oh, careful, Ralph! Whoa! Whoa! He's surfing! No! Oh, at least I don't take full damage. Oh! At least I've made it to the key. Or have I? Ralph, can you can you reach the key, Ralph? Do you think? Oh, I need to turn this around a bit more, I think. There we go. Okay, grab the key, Ralph. Now, how are we going to get out of here with that menacing ball there? Oh! There we go. This isn't too bad. Or is it? Oh. How am I going to do this, then? If I just drop down onto that ledge there. Oh. And then ride the world around. That's it. Surf it, Ralph. Ride it like a, like a riptide. There we go. And, hey presto, I'm out the door. This is actually really cool. Although I hope there are more dimensions than just turning the world left and right. It'd be nice to see a bit more depth. The spiral. This is looking scary, but at least Ralph's keeping notes on this crazy, strange new world. Two keys this time. Two locks. Oh, no. Well, Ralph, you know what to do. Don't get hit by balls. There are no balls. But how do we... Oh, my... Oh, my God. How the hell am I going to get through this, though? I mean, look at that. Oh, no! If I keep... If I keep doing that, the keys are going to fall out of the level. Can't let that happen. Ooh. Okay, I've got to spin the other way, I think. Can't let the keys fall out of the level. That'll just be terrible. Okay. So I've spun that around. So now the keys are safe, I think. So now I can. Uh, oh, oh, careful, Ralph! Careful! Oh. I think I know what I have to do. I think I'm going to stand on the lip of this spiral over here. So Ralph will spin down. And then we'll stand on this thing. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 one of the keys has made it round. Oh, amazing. Good job, Ralph. <laughs> um, maybe there's a way for me to get the other key back to me as well. But how am I going to do that? Oh, I know. I can... I'm going to have to make the key fall out the level. Almost fall out the level. And then catch it with the other side of the level. If you see what I mean. I'll bring it around slowly. Okay, and the key will slip down. Come on, key. There it goes. Oh, it's picking up speed. Oh, careful. Oh. Oh, it's stuck behind that one there. Okay, so let's just wait for the key to slide a bit more. 
There it goes. Oh, 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 no! <laughs> the key, the key spun off. As the key leaves, so too am I left marooned on this structure. So I can press space. Ah, yes, excellent. So I can press space just to rewind the game and aha, caught the key this time. Fantastic. That is a really cool save mechanic. I think I wish more games had that kind of hold space to reverse time mechanic because it's really cool. So I keep spinning this, and the key, I tell you, I, I hope you guys at home aren't getting seasick because I I am, and I think Ralph is way past seasick. I think he's he's about to bath all over the floor. Okay, Ralph, there's the key. Grab it, and let's get the hell out of this crazy maze. There we go. The Nook. Oh, Ralph's looking pretty proud of himself. What are you staring at? What's in that picture, I wonder? Hmm. Maybe it's dinner. Or is that me wishing it was dinner because I'm hungry? Maybe. Uh-oh. More scary balls. Okay, Ralph. Zoom out. What's the score here? Yeah. Well, there's, there's ink. There's weird ink there. Now, I suppose they think you're going to turn it clockwise here. Oh, so that you can get up there. But if you turn it anti-clockwise, I think you can get around this puzzle easier. Let's check this out. But why was the level called the Nook? That, to me, suggests that there's a Nook that you can hide in. Oh, oh careful, Ralph, careful. So I'll, I'll go all the way along here. So that when the ball does spin around, hopefully I will not hit it. Oh, 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 no. Oh, 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 <laughs> Ralph. I think I had it there. I think, I think I had it. But I didn't quite spin it quick enough. Oh, oh, oh. Well, this is tricky. It's tricky getting used to. Okay, keep spinning it, keep spinning it. And, ooh. Oh, now keep going, Ralph. Keep going. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 Ralph, you got squished. You got squished. Oh. Okay. All right, now. So Ralph's at the edge here. And now hopefully I can spin the world round quick enough to not get caught, in, caught by that ball. Oh, come on, Ralph. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's rewind. How are we going to do this? Hmm. Now, I'm stuck in this nook. Maybe I can just spin it around this way again. Ah, oh, I see. And the ball will spin down there. And that means when I do this, I can get away. Oh, no. Oh, oh, dear. Well, let's try... Let's try spinning it this way again. Oh, yeah, and this way I can follow the ball around instead of getting caught by it. Or, even better, I can just slip my... Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, Ralph. Ralph, you're my hero. You're my hero. Get through that door, you son of a gun. You escaped the ball. Good job. Achievement thinker. Oh, sweet. So that was chapter one. And that's where I'm going to draw to a close, I think. This has been a really interesting look into the bridge. It's available on Steam for a modest... Oh, what's this? Hang on a sec. Before we stop, I finally found someone who shares my passion for esoteric mathematics. We've agreed to begin work on some of my ideas. With this help, my dreams could be realized. This is pretty cool, and it seems short enough for us to be able to complete it in just a few a few sessions. So if you guys want a full playthrough, hit like and uh, like and favorite. And if it gets enough attention and love, maybe we'll come back to Ralph and this crazy, crazy, uh, crazy painterly style. It's almost like pencil drawn braid with a twist on physics. So we're back in Ralph's home and oh, oh, there's a lot more doors. The world is a much larger place when every wall is a floor. So uh, I've been Shin, and remember hit like and favorite if you do want to see more, and hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for a little bit more of The Bridge.
Now, where the bridge is, I don't know, but hopefully we'll come across it at some point, I guess. Take care. <laughs>